Yo, yo, what's up guys? Be by C J in case this is your first time and in today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you, telling you guys seven ways I try to beat creative block, popularly known as beat block. So it's a normal thing where you try to make beats and for some reason you just cannot come up with something and you feel like, oh my, I'm no longer a good producer anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens to everybody and I'm just basically going to be telling you things that I do to get that sorted out, you know, and hopefully it helps you because it does help me sometimes so without wasting much of your time let us get straight into the video so yeah the first thing i do when i'm feeling like oh, i'm not really feeling inspired today but i really want to make beat the first thing i do is to always try to go look for some nice loops you understand and if you don't really have money for the money subscription for supplies you can definitely definitely go for looperman looperman is like a free um free website you know where you can basically go and get good loops you know quality loops quality loops actually and you know you can use it to start making your beats and if you have the money for the money subscription you can also try to use um you know splice you know splice helps me a lot <laughs> like i use splice almost every time when i'm not feeling inspired you know and if you have some nice sample packs that like you can try to get like some nice loops as well just try to create it and make it your own don't just take the loop and just um I'll just drop it down use it like that no try to make it yours you understand so that's like the first thing i do try to always go for loops it works almost all the time it works for me so the second thing that i always try to do is to listen to music you know listen to a new genre listen to a project an ep or something and try to like get inspiration from it you know basically listening maybe i can try to collect the like chord progression or the drums from it you know just try to use it to build up something listen to something different from what i normally do do you understand and try a different genre so that's like the second thing i always do and 80 to 90 percent of the time it always works for me you understand so i always use that most of the time when i'm having beat block so yeah that's the second tip for you there always try to like listen to different music and maybe try to get the chord progression or the drums or something from it and create your beats so yeah the third thing that i always do is try to use a cappella man that's like the golden gem you know you can call it the golden gem <laughs> if that even said there's something like that but yeah a cappella you know you can go get some nice popular songs maybe from whiskey bonaboy you can just extract the acapella there are so many um software that you can use to do that and if you don't know any comment in the section below and i'll reply you and tell you one that you can use you understand so you can just get them take the acapella and try to create your own beat around their vocals sometimes what i do is i just go to a song i don't basically or normally listen to the song itself just for the element of surprise sake i can just go there and just basically remove the vocals drop it on my door and try to create something with it so yeah that's like a replacement for when you don't have artists in the house because most times <laughs> producers we are always 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 by ourselves you know so it's like you're collaborating with an imaginary artist <laughs> you understand so yeah try to get a capellas and create good music so yeah the fourth thing that i always do which i always always tell producers is to remake beats you know when you're not feeling inspired go on top 10 apple music go on spotify good playlist that you love pick songs that you like and you know recreate them you know the essence of doing that is going to help you know sound selection also going to help you improve in terms of the kind of drum kits you use and in most cases once i kind of create the drums that are being used in that particular song that i'm remaking i can save it as a way file to use later in my own projects you understand so that's like another thing you can do so that's like the fourth thing you know we make beats we make beats you know it's just like athletes they practice every time so you know you just have to keep remaking beats that's how going to help you for most of it i don't even have good sound selection because sound selection is the key to making good music you know your beats can be sounding really nice but the sound selection that you are using is just basically the problem so but when you remake beats you get to know the kind of you know sounds that the popular or good producers are using so i feel like we're making beat is one thing that i always do like twice or three times in a week you know just to help my creativity 
sake you understand the fifth thing that i always do you know try to have artist friends because at the end of the day music is a collaborative effort so you want to also have some artists you understand because sometimes you might be making beats and you might not be feeling it it happens most of the times for me i might be making beats and i'm not really feeling it but there's an artist in the room you know and he can just vibe to the beat and all of a sudden no more inspiration ideas or sparks in pop just like that and then we just start creating magic you understand so you can always always try to collaborate with an artist when you're feeling like um, you're not inspired you know that's now a replacement for acapella you understand so always try to make sure you have an artist around and if you don't or uh, you can make a beat not necessarily finish the beat if you're not feeling it send it to any artist you know um they can vibe to it send it back to you and all of a sudden you just have your creative juice back you know sometimes creative block is just you just need something to ignite you back you understand to bring back that fire it's not like you are whack because trust me sometimes it can make you feel like ah, i'm not a good producer or blah 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 but well, it happens to everybody in general you understand so yeah collaborating with artists is one big way you can also one way that i also try to beat beat block you understand the next thing that you can do just like collaborating with artists is also collaborating with other music producers you know you can shoot dms to producers and like i want to make a collaboration with you maybe you have a good drums that you've made for that particular project but you're not just feeling the instrument that you're playing you understand so you can just mute your instrument send your drums to the um producer you want to collaborate with and they can add in their own instruments you know send it back to you you can just even be inspired to even add more instruments you understand so collaborating with producers i feel for me is like a must for everybody you know music like i always say it's a, it's a collaborative effort you know so sometimes when you collaborate that's when you can even make the best music when it comes to making music so that's why i always advise collaborate with producers you know you can make instruments send it they make the drums send it to you send it to an artist before you know you made a vibe you understand or Sometimes you can check some of them, they always post in their status, maybe collab, the collab, I'm up for collab, and they can send you an instrument and you put in the drum, they can send you drum, you put in the instrument, vice versa. You understand? So collaborating with producers is one big way I feel like you can improve in your big block. Wahala. <laughs> the last one that I'm going to say is do something different. You know, if you've gone through all these steps that I just told you right now and it is still not working for you. You still cannot create. And that means you have to give yourself a break. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, what's the point of making music? If you no longer enjoy music, there's no point. You understand? So when you're making music, you want to make sure you are enjoying what you are doing. You understand what I'm saying? So in a situation whereby you've tried all of this step, yeah, and all of this is none of this is working for you. You can just basically go stay away from the music for a while. Watch a movie. I'm on some days, me like this, I can binge watch a series just to take my mind off the whole music stuff. Listen to something different, play video games, you know, try to take your mind off the music. Maybe for one day or two days, then you can come back into the studio and trust me, you'll be fully energized. You know, take a walk go somewhere go to park you know just do something different from the music that's like always the last resort for me when i am not feeling inspired you know i'm just making this video to let you know that you're not alone you know it doesn't mean that you're a bad producer because <laughs> almost every producer you see today they go through that same phase you know we all go through creative block you understand it's normal for a creative person you know so you don't have to be too hard on yourself don't feel like you're a whack producer or you're not a good producer you understand so just try to shake yourself off it do all of these things i've i just said and uh, like i said don't be too hard on yourself the essence and the reason why you're making music is to enjoy yourself you know music should be a therapy to you and not a stress you understand because it's something you have passion it's something you love doing so that's just my reason for making this video just i hope this video helps you and if you like videos like this let me know in the comment section please make sure you like this video comment and subscribe and as, as well let us know in the comment section what you also like to do to big big block you know let's let's make it a conversation in the comment section and yeah let us go together and like i always say remember remember to always stay creative and I go by name beat by hcn and yeah till i catch you guys in the next video Peace.